guys, I am so sorry for going MIA again. I have been dealing with, um, you know, the house stuff and getting um, to closing on time. And so I've been just making a lot of calls, filling out a lot of papers and just kind of like rushing around doing all that. And it's just been really stressful. There's always gonna be something new around the corner that is going to be stressful. So I definitely um, have to learn how to handle stress and staying on a schedule at the same time. What I'm gonna to discuss today is when you are out and about or if you don't feel like meal prepping, it's lunchtime and you wanna stop and get some fast food or let's say you're with friends or family, you guys are gonna go through the fast food line. Is there something you can eat? And the answer is yes, there's plenty for you guys to order. So I went to three fast food places today for lunch. I went to McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's because I figure those are like pretty standard places that probably most of you guys have where you live too. And I know that it's pretty common sense that you can get a burger without a bun but I thought it would still be like kind of fun to see someone do it. Maybe you are a little scared to do it. Maybe you're a little embarrassed. Maybe you would rather like order the burger as it is and you'll just remove the bun yourself, which you know, you can do too. Um, if you're throwing away the bun, then it's kind of like a waste of food, but uh, yeah, that works too. Maybe feed it to the birds or something, but it also might be a little harder like seeing the bun. Maybe you're tempted to eat it. Maybe you're just gonna take off half the bun and eat the other half because you don't have a fork and you don't wanna get like messy, like picking it up. So, so I think it's probably best to avoid getting the bun. This low carb lifestyle is pretty popular now. I just wanted to show you that today that I went through these lines. I just ordered it with, you know, no ketchup because of the sugar and no bun. Not once in any of these three places did someone ask me what or no bun? You know, so there was no, nothing weird. And it's kind of fun to see the price for each place, which ended up being like pretty similar. I ordered a bacon cheeseburger from each place. So the first place I'm gonna show you is McDonald's. The second one is Wendy's. Now for Wendy's, I ordered the cheeseburger and then forgot to order the bacon. So at the window, I added the bacon to it. So you'll see it on the receipt. And then I went to Burger King and got a bacon cheeseburger as well. Can I help you? Hi, can I have one quarter pounder with cheese um, and bacon? Okay. Um, no ketchup, please, and no bun. Okay. Is the sandwich or the meal? Just the sandwich. Anything else? That's it. Okay, thank you. Hi, welcome to Wendy's. Can I help you? Hi, can I get um, your Dave's single, um, just the sandwich with no bun and no ketchup, please? Is that anything else? That's it. 41 next window, please. Thank you. Can I get a bacon and cheese Whopper, uh, just the sandwich, with okay. no ketchup and no bun? Okay. And that's hey. all. Thank you, Wendell, please. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you, too, can feel comfortable just grabbing some fast food, you know, ordering it like that. They're gonna put it in a plate for you. I didn't even have to ask for the plate. I got a few gifts in my PO box and a nice letter. And I just wanted to give a shout out to the people that sent this. Um, first is Lindsay, oh my gosh. She sent me these handmade coasters and they are pictures from my Instagram. And these are the girls at the park and they're all muddy. And then there is a one of me and one of avocados, of course. So cute, Lindsay. I can't believe you made these yourself. And I love that you put them in a little box that says handmade by Lindsay. Um, yeah, thank you so much. That is so sweet. And I read your card. You're coming to the event on Sunday. I'm super excited to meet you. Make sure you come find me. Let me know it's you. 
And yeah, so in case you guys are just tuning in now, there is a fundraiser event that my friend, um, who is a personal trainer and she has a business called SK Fit. She is hosting this fundraiser. It's Sunday, I, I believe 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. in Coral Springs, uh, Florida. So if you guys live nearby, come on out. Uh, it's gonna be really fun. There's gonna be a boot camp. Um, like, so you're gonna get like a really good workout and there's like vendors and face paintings. So if you have kids, bring the kids too. There's food trucks and you know, plenty of stuff to do. So it should be fun. Okay, I also got a card from Cynthia. Thank you so much, Cynthia. It's so pretty. She even put stickers on it too. And yeah, such a sweet message. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna add this to uh, the other cards that I received from you guys. And last but not least, the girls got toys. Thank you so much, Athena, for sending the girls dog toys. They haven't seen them yet. Girls, look what Athena brought you guys. Oh, let's see. Oh, it squeaks in this one. Wow. Oh, you want that one? Okay. Look, Claire. What'd you get? What'd you guys get? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you everybody for um, the wonderful letters and the, uh, the gifts. And I will see you guys on Sunday. Hopefully. <laughs> Bye.